Sup everyone, I'm Paul Clark. Sup Paul. We are outfitting river paddleboarding trips today. I wouldn't be a paddleboarder if it wasn't for the river and I'm most excited about the river for doing multi-day trips. And I'm stoked that Hala is all about river touring. So their Rado series, whether it be the Hala Rado, the Hala Radito, or the Hala Atches, are great boards to run whitewater and do multi-day SUP support trips with them, putting dry bags on the board and going. So these boards are really made for that. One thing you're going to notice about the, the touring boards from Hala is that they have soft D-rings throughout the front of the board. And these are where you're going to be putting your dry bag. Center the mass of the weight fairly close to your toes ahead of you. If you load gear behind you, it's just going to be in the way. You're not going to be able to perform as easily. So a nice bag like the 65 liter Sea to Summit hydraulic bag works really well. And how do you rig on the soft earrings? Well, I use Sea to Summit bomber loop blocks where I could just girth the straps into place. Or you could have a system that incorporates a carabiner, a nice secure a system using those loops. And there you go. If you're using a standard cam strap system, a way to connect is a carabiner directly to the soft webbing put your carabiner in and snug tight. So whether you go directly to the nylon with nylon or to the nylon with a carabiner, you have a good solid system. The bag isn't going to go anywhere and you're rigged to flip. I do like the fact these hydraulic bags have this sewn in D-loops. I do use them. If you're to use just one of the sewn gear loops, the bag will stay in place. Clean the straps however you like, but we are rigged to flip. If the board were to capsize, the bag isn't moving anywhere. Make it nice and tidy. Your feet will be here or stepping back to pivot. Very few foot entanglements or entrapments at all on here. You are rigged to flip using the Hala Rado series of boards. 